Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Okay, so this is part 7, where we will be rigging and posing to finish the character off. We'll begin by adding in a human armature, and then scaling up to match the character model. Then it's just a matter of moving all the bones into place, so that they are inside the model's mesh. Here I'm deleting the face bones, as I'm not going to do any face rigging. When you delete the face bones, make sure to delete the small bone inside the head bone like this, or else the rig will not generate properly later. Scale is really important for the rig, so go through your model and clear the transforms on everything, just to make sure everything is at scale of 1. Also make sure the armature is at scale 1 itself. Applying modifiers like the array and curve modifier are also suggested. Okay, so now it's time to go over to the right panel and press on the button here called Generate Rig. It will create an animation rig here, which looks quite busy. You can hide the armature skeleton now as we don't need it going forward. Now clicking on each of the objects of the model and then shift selecting the rig last. Now press Ctrl P and select Armature Deform with Automatic Weights. Your computer may have to think for a while here. Now you can select the rig and go into Pose Mode. You can select these handles and move the model around like this. If it's moving slowly, you can speed things up by reducing the multi-resolution subdivision level in the preview field. Now you can see when I twist the shoulder rig here that the chin moves in an odd way. So I'm going to go into the weight paint mode and using the draw brush and with auto normalize on, I'm going to paint the head all red. Basically the hotter the color or more red it is, the more of an effect the bone selected on the right panel has over a given part of the mesh. 
Auto normalize makes it so that the weight paint over any part of the mesh does not exceed one. Here you can see on the right as I select different bones, its corresponding weight paint shows up on the mesh. To work the fingers, you can select these long orange handles and by pressing S to scale, you can open and close the hand. You can also move these same handles to adjust the fingers if you want a different position. Okay, so the smaller things like the eyes, eyebrows, and the accessories like the belt, I did not originally parent with weights. Since you can also use the data transfer modifier to have them follow the rig as well. First, select the items and then shift select the rig last. Then press Ctrl P and select Armature to form with empty weights. Then select each object and add a Data Transfer modifier. In the Data Transfer modifier, select the mesh that you want the object to follow. In this case, for the eyes and the eyebrows, I want it to follow the head. And then down below, you can select Vertex Data and Vertex Groups. Make sure to either apply the Data Transfer modifier here or move it above the armature modifier in the modifier stack or else it will not work. One thing to note is by default, the arms and legs will stretch when you use the red IK handles here. If you don't want them to stretch, go to the options panel on the right here and change the IK stretch parameter to zero. If you want to make adjustments, you can also use the blue tweak handles like this. In the hands, you can adjust the fingers with the green and orange handles like this. And finally, for some quick composition things, I have a basic tri-lighting system commonly used in films and photography. You can enable a built-in blender add-on called Tri-Lights to speed this up a bit. To use this add-on, go to the Add menu up on the top left and then down to Lights, and you should see a new option there called Three Lights. The three lights that you add in will be focused on whichever object you have selected at that time. 
As a result, I like to create an empty that I call focus point lights so that I can move their focus point around easily. I've added a cylinder as sort of a stage and then an HDRI for some additional lighting. And that's it, we're done. I know the character isn't amazingly complex and I definitely am not an expert in any of the areas I covered in this series, but I hope you learned something along the way. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next one.